How are you all? I hope you're doing well. Okay. So yesterday on the live stream, we were talking about We Spa and what sort of went down with that. And since that live stream last night, I had learned a few more things about this situation and a few more things came out. So I like to go through it with you. And uh, this is personal to me because I've been to this spa before. It's a Korean spa in Los Angeles. And there's some of the Korean spas, they're all women. And this one happens to be, they have a huge co-ed section. And then they have a women's locker room and a men's locker room. And I they have like a few saunas and a few little spa areas for women. And typically you're unclothed when you're in that area. Um, but keep in mind, there is a co-ed, a giant co-ed section. And the majority of this spa, if I remember correctly, is co-ed. But again, you have your men's locker room, you have your women's locker room. So what happened was last week, this video went viral. And I didn't play it for you last night, but I'm actually going to play it for you. I clipped it out and I'll play it for you. And I want you to pay attention to a few really key parts. Anyway, what happened was this video just popped up on the internet and went viral. The woman behind the camera filming this was complaining to staff members at We Spa that there was a male with his full genitalia out and exposing himself and walking around in the female locker room. The staff then told her that the man identifies as a woman, therefore According to the law, according to them, he is allowed in the women's locker room. And her argument was he doesn't look like a woman. He has full genitalia and he's walking around exposing himself. And um, so after we talked about this initial video, I saw a second video that she had uploaded where she's talking to another staff member, a female staff member, saying the same thing. And the female staff member saying, sorry, he can stay there. There's nothing we can do. That's the law. That's how he identifies, basically, is what they were saying. And she is visibly very upset, saying there are little girls in this area. And this is traumatizing for them to see a, a full biological male uh, walking around and I need to say before I go any further with this I always have to say this I am not um, speaking against anyone that is trans you identify however you want to identify live your life I don't care whether you want to be a man a woman whether you're bi what your orientation is I don't mind if you want to identify as an alien that is you you do you I got my own problems to worry about I don't care. I, you know, life is short. Do whatever you need to do to be happy. So this is not about that. This is about an individual taking advantage of this and possibly preying upon or exposing himself, flashing to women and young girls in a safe, in a space that is supposed to be safe for them. So I have some updates on who this possibly was. Um, and what has happened and what is happening since. And then I actually have some information about We Spa, a complaint that somebody made a few years ago in a very similar situation. So first, let's watch the video. And some key parts that I want you to notice are, you know, obviously the staff member who's saying, sorry, that's his, the, that's the, her, him, I, that's the orientation, um, also notice the other woman, there was another woman there that was very uncomfortable who wanted her money back. There were two other women that came out at one point in the video and mind you, they are in the main lobby area and they have come out with wet hair and their robes on. That's how uncomfortable they were. So there's a, a several women that are very uncomfortable complaining. Notice the man who you would think would be standing up for a woman who is clearly in distress. She's clearly upset about what she saw and she clearly doesn't feel heard and she clearly feels like her rights have been violated. Um, so the other man, uh, very much a beta or whatever you want to call him, comes up and is is saying, well, is he transgender? Well, how does he identify? You don't know. And you'll see that response. But the whole thing is just very interesting because it just goes to show um, all of these women were clearly upset. So why is one person feeling comfortable have to be at the expense of all these other women? And then you'll notice in the end, she turns the camera around so you can see her face and she says, other women were afraid 
to say something. So here's some of the video clipped out uh, and then we'll talk and I'll show you some of the other stuff that has happened since. We, we spa, so you don't, so it's okay. I just wanna be clear with you. It's okay, it's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age, your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he so he could stay there. He could stay there. What sexual orientation? I see a dick. It lets me know he's a man. He he's a man. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't come back either. Yeah, get your money back. You got a man with his penis talking about he's a woman. He ain't no woman. Now, okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right as a woman. I have a right to feel comfortable yes. without a man yes. exposing himself, yes. okay? No, you go somewhere else. Yes. Okay, so that's right. No, he's not a transgender. He has a penis, just like you do. Are you, are you, are you, are you? No. Yeah. Okay, it's not okay. Okay, that's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman no, to defend. I'm telling you, he has a penis. He's a man with a penis. He is a man. I don't care. So men can just say, I'm a woman today and I want to come in and I want, no, I'm recording this. I am going to record this because I'm going to make a big deal. I'm going to take this very worldwide. And what's yeah, happening because, no, it, right. Girls. And then what about girls. women's rights? No, right, right, right. Little no. girls. Right. And now we can't yeah. shower. We can't go down there to shower. We can't yeah. go get our clothes. If you feel comfortable about it, we can budget you Oh, so now we have to leave. If you feel uncomfortable, discriminate against gender identity. How, oh, but then why do you have men's section and women's section? Gender identity, if they identify as female, they let us know. Tell me what makes you a female. Exactly. I See, understand that. No. I understand that. No, we're not going for that. Uh -oh. I'm up here at the, at the wee spa and a man, okay, comes in slinging his penis. I almost want to fall out. I couldn't believe what I saw. I couldn't believe that this man, okay, and these people up here, and you got some women scared to say something. Baby, I'm not scared to say a thing. The blood of Jesus against this wilding out life. Since this video went viral, there are a lot of people really upset about this on the internet. And, um, they actually, We Spa has actually shut down their TripAdvisor page because they were getting inundated with so many responses. And this was uncovered, this review from back in 2018. And just listen carefully at the wording that this person uses because what is happening as a result of this is, you know, these women that were upset are being labeled a transphobe. Now, just just keep that in mind and listen listen to this. And I, I will say, you know, I said this last night, according to the law of averages, just I've, I've lived in LA, I understand. Uh, most of the people there are very liberal. I guarantee you, most, if not all of those women that were there at the spa in the moment probably vote Democrat. So these are very liberal, very accepting people. Um, so 2008, no, 2018, I'm, I'm sorry, November. I would I would give this place a, a five stars a week ago, but last night I had the most disturbing experience in the women's locker room. Upon checking in, the, the clerk advised us that there was a transgender male in the women's locker room. Uh, okay, no problem. I'm not the type to discriminate people, but once in the women's area, I saw the mentioned transgender individual naked in all his glory and still had male organs hanging there. Okay, no fuss, she says. The surgery is very expensive anyways, so I go on my routine and I get into the shower room. He was almost next to me showering too when I start to overhear a conversation that he is having with a lady that is also in the shower area. I clearly heard him say that he has had sex with almost, I apologize if this is graphic, but this is, this is what's happening. Um, 
he has had relations with probably about a lot of women and that he was looking for a female girlfriend to share his time with. He also mentioned that he used some illicit drugs. Okay, not my business, she says. He uses it to relax. But hey, a, a, a transgender person does not act like a guy around women, nor they state how much they like women, nor how much they like having relations with them. This guy is not transgender, she feels. He seems to be just kind of someone who is using this as an opportunity to be around naked women. Um, I heard from other ladies that he goes there quite often. I have nothing against anyone or what they identify as, but um, every gay guy I know uses the men's locker room when in the spa. Management said that according to the law, there is nothing they could do. Yes, they can. They can reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Um, they can deny entrance to this person based on his behavior not on his gender. So she's talking about the behavior, not necessarily what this person identifies as. I wouldn't have minded this situation at all, but this guy if this guy was really transgender, but it just seemed like he wasn't. I was concerned for my safety and the safety of other women at the spa. Like I said, I wouldn't have minded if he was really truly um what he says and preferably without that okay so she goes into more detail but you can clearly see this is a person that is very upset uh, uh very accepting uh wants everyone to feel comfortable but the behavior was quite odd and this seems to be exactly what was happening with the women from the video this happened some of the women who were at the spa that day and some other women that are very concerned about this are planning a protest and are boycotting We Spa. So they're planning on protesting, um, I believe tomorrow, July 3rd at 11 a.m. Okay, so those, those are kind of the updates. Well then, according to other sources, allegedly, I don't know for sure, but also according to this person's own Instagram who is saying that this was the person in question this was the person I believe allegedly according to what this person is saying on their social media and according to other sources this is the individual who was in the women's locker room um and also in response to the women having a a protest at We Spa, this is what this individual has posted on their social media. So you can see it says smash transphobia, smash fascism in the streets and are planning a counter protest at the We Spa. So that is what is happening at the spa. And again, I don't think that this 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 individual, if this is the individual that did that, and this has nothing to do with his orient or her orientation, his orientation. It, I don't know what this has nothing to do with the orientation. This has to do with the behavior. If you actually have a gender dysphoria, if you are uncomfortable in your own body and feel like you are the wrong gender, the last thing you would be doing is walking around full out, especially in front of little girls. And this is the type of behavior where in front of people in any other instance, if you are the opposite gender exposing yourself to people and there were girls there with their moms, you would that that would be illegal in most in most cases but when i looked at this person's social media account it was very clear that and again this has nothing to do with the orientation this has to do with the other forms of behavior this appeared to be someone that enjoys being provocative and enjoys making people uncomfortable and that has nothing to do with the orientation i'm talking about the other behaviors and some of it you saw in that picture. This is someone that engages in a lot of um, protests and sort of activism, maybe rioting, things like that. 
So I just wanted to update you on that story. I was pretty surprised finding out who this individual is. Again, if if this is something that you wouldn't think this person would be so public about that. Anyway, um, just wanted to update you on that. Let me know what you think. Please be kind in, in the comments or just be careful because I don't want any of my videos taken down. We all know how the tube is. So I'm always trying to be careful talking about this. But it is important to talk about because a lot of people feel uncomfortable talking about it because you will get labeled a phobic. You will get labeled a, an, an extremist. You're against people's rights. But clearly... You see these women, they were clearly upset. Um, these are women that just seem like regular, accepting, nice women that probably vote Democrat. Uh, and you saw that review. Again, this was someone that was like, look, if this was really what they said they were, but I have a feeling that this is somebody that is using, you know, using these policies to get access to women that are, are vulnerable and safe places for women to be provocative or for their own maybe reasons that are not what they say that they are and that's how we have to be really careful and we spot if you are a business you can refuse service you can refuse access for any reason regardless of what legislation is passed and the more we call it phobic and the more that we refuse to have nuanced conversations the war the more women are and young girls are going to continue to be you know, put in these situations where they don't feel safe and they don't feel comfortable. And what's going to happen to We Spa if they don't address this is women are going to stop going there. You already saw it in that video that one girl wanted her money back. The women were so uncomfortable, they came out into the lobby with wet hair and their robes on. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to update you on that. I thought that that was a, a pretty interesting development. I'll be curious to see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to follow this, but I'll see you later. Bye.